Hello Tubes, this is going to be just, this is the introduction to this video. Um, I have a little background. That lawnmower, this is the all-wheel drive Craftsman, I found in the trash as I was riding my bike in the neighborhood. It was the same house that I had pulled out a trashed Honda three years ago. <laughs> that all it needed was a new carburetor. Well, anyway. This one, this one was broken. Uh, it did run, but um, here's the reason why it was thrown out. Okay, that's the, the all-wheel drive belt. It's broken. And the pulleys for it are messed up. Well, this one here still works, but the other ones don't move. Each one of these pulleys is about $13 each, plus shipping. And that's kind of cost prohibited for me, to, for what I do. Uh, fix it and sell it so Just out of out of I uh, had a thought I did have a um, A belt that came off of a mower a scrap oil and mower that needed a, That got out of the trash at the mower I found it, This was the size of it. Okay. I've used that mower that that one for the rear uh, for the rear pulleys, and you'll see that as I as I um, I show this in, in my in this video. Um, I just cut my lawn with it. It cuts pretty good. Uh, it pulls strong. Um, so you'll enjoy the video. Hey tubes, I'm here with the, again with this all-wheel drive Craftsman. Um, these are the the pulleys. I believe that. They're frozen. At least one of them. Uh, one of them works still because it's you know this one will move, but the other ones don't. They don't. They don't rotate. Um, they're just frozen. So, and I, I, I tried to look up what the, the this part was, and um, you know, based off the model number in this. And each one of these is like 12 bucks. So it's kind of cost prohibited for what I'm doing. So what I'm going to attempt is I have this belt. This is actually from a Troy belt. Um, one that I trash picked and, or I changed the belt on. This was the old one. It belts, eh, okay. Um, I can't make it front wheel drive because the drive control, uh, for the cable only controls tightens up the back and so that somehow would transfer to the front so what I'm going to do is just try to see if I can make it real wheel drive by adding this belt I've already taken off the pulley stuff here and in order to get access to put the belt on here I have to take the belt guides off and to do that I have to remove this baffle and to do that, I got to take the wheels off in the back so I can get access uh, to, uh, uh, or raise them up or do something so I can get access to that bolt in there so I can pull this out. And there's some bolts in the back. The important step of when you get the baffle out, because it's all connected here, is the cable it's connected and you need extra slack. So go up here and disconnect it from the from the handlebars. It gives you more slack so you can move around and not have to deal with it later, but remember to put it back. Now and I know I'm kinda I'm just doing this freehand with my, my uh, camera. Um, I didn't intend to do this today, I just got thinking about it. Um, now you get in order to get this guide off so you can put the belt on. You gotta take this bolt, these, there's two bolts, a quarter inch, so you can slip the belt over and then see if it'll fit with the pulley. I mean, with the um, drive shaft. And let's hope that works. Uh, as if it is, we've got a rear wheel drive, self propelled mower um, converted from an all wheel drive. As you can see, I've got the belt on the, back, the rear now. You had to loosen up those two bolts I was talking about. And then you gotta put them back. The moment of truth. Now that I got the blade on the pulley and tight, all tightened back up, which is actually the 
not that bad. The Toro's personal pace is worse. But uh, let's see if this will work. Um, let me see if I got my, yeah. Let's see if this will work. So, and I had to, uh, I did have to stretch the, the, um, the control cable for it and to give me more slack here. I did not remove that spring, uh, spring there. I try not to remove it, but I don't have to. And I haven't put back the bolts for the baffle yet. So I'm gonna stick this on just to see if it'll fit. Let's see. I do believe we have a winner. Now I'm just gonna put everything back together and start it up and see how uh, how it self-propelled works. Hey tubes, looks like I've got a success here with that belt. I'm converting this all-wheel drive to a rear-wheel drive only because of the um, the pulleys here, are, well, for lack of a better word, it's just a military term, foobard, uh, and they cost too much to. They're cost prohibitive to replace. Each one is twelve. It's about thirteen dollars, and they need three of them. Oh, got this now. Rear-wheel drive, and uh, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might leave the front transmission in there. It's a lot of work. I'll just put the cover back on. I'm gonna put the belt cover back on, and uh, I'll, 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 I'll see you later. Hey, you dudes. Know. Well, I got this one all buttoned up. The, all the covers back on and um, I opted not to fix the all-wheel drive so I converted it to rear-wheel drive I'd not front-wheel drive because the the actual tension for the real -wheel, for the self-propelled gets put on the rear-wheel drive only and somehow that transfers to the front uh, for an all-wheel drive anyway I uh, the, this was the, the pulleys are all these pulleys are bad uh, well this one's okay but these other ones yeah it moves but that's only because I got it loose it not the bolt tight and tightened down so I, I, got, I converted it to converted it to um, uh, rear wheel drive and I used a belt that I had that I had off of a, a, a Troy belt this was the the size if anybody wants to know um, this is uh, so this uh, the belt actually came off a Troy belt front wheel drive uh, so uh, it, it fit the, the rear wheel drive portion of this bypassing um, bypassing this and now it works I'll, I'll give you a, a little demo here and I'll go ahead and sharpen the blade and change the oil which will be the only thing I've got left to do got my uh, third hand in place give you a little once over I will buff I will buff this up with some you know before I get I sell it but this is a how oh, I got it running now some interesting to note is I got this lawnmower I was riding my bike on a bike ride and I saw it in the trash okay three years ago I saw a Honda lawnmower in the same uh, in the trash of this of the same house uh, I knew this was in the trash because they, there was a brand new la uh, Honda lawnmower box sitting outside in the trash as well, and this was sitting next to it. So, and plus it was bro broken, but it ran. Okay, now here's I'm gonna start it now. This is an auto choke system, uh, the newer style Briggs. Uh, it's a uh, 625 series, 150 cc's. Now I'm going to yeah, start here. Starts really easy. Here's the real one. Here's the self propelled now. Oh. This will probably be the final look at this one. So, uh, this was interesting, getting a little creative. Uh, converting a all-wheel drive to a uh, rear-wheel drive only. All you needed was a, uh, a belt, uh, some ingenuity, and and um, some, uh, some time to think about it. Now the, and the belt, again, I didn't have to pay for it because it came off the scrap mower. Later tubes.